0.84087 femtometers. That is the astonishing number which researchers at PSI have come up with for the radius of a proton. How did they succeed in measuring such an inconceivably tiny object? Let's take a look at the simplest atom, hydrogen. Its nucleus is simply a positively charged proton with a negatively charged electron whizzing around it. Well, it isn't quite that simple. The proton is not a simple sphere. It consists of a cloud of elementary particles, so-called quarks and gluons. These particles are what give the proton its positive charge. The spatial distribution of the particles give the proton its size, and we want to determine this size. To do so, we make use of the amazing properties of quantum mechanics. This theory states that the electron can adopt different states with the specific energy levels, symbolized here by two orbits. According to the theory, the difference between these states depends on the size of the proton. However, since the electron is moving a long distance away, it's only weakly affected by the radius of the proton, and this difference is very difficult to measure. So we replace the electron by a muon. Muons differ from electrons in terms of their mass. They are some 200 times heavier. This means the muon orbits much closer to the proton, and its energy levels are affected more strongly by the radius of the proton. So all we have to do is measure the difference between the two energy states to deduce the radius of the proton. We do this with the help of a special infrared laser, which we use to excite the muon. If the frequency of the laser radiation is exactly right, the muon absorbs its energy and jumps to a higher level. When it drops back to the ground state, it emits energy in the form of X-rays, which we can detect. In the actual experiment, we keep varying the wavelength of the laser until it is just right. Initially, no X-rays are recorded, but suddenly, the signal increases. The intensity of the X-rays reaches a maximum. We have found the frequency we were looking for, the so-called resonant frequency. From the resonant frequency, shown here in gigahertz, we can now determine the difference between the two energy levels of the muon. Finally, from this we can calculate the radius of the proton, 0.84087 femtometers. So inconceivably small and yet so exact. Learn more about how we measure the microcosm in the current issue of our magazine.